Guess who's back? Back yeah. again. <laughs> We're both back. Yeah. Tell your friends. <laughs> Tell your friends. <laughs> oh, hey guys, what's happening? All kinds of fun stuff happening here today. <sighs> so, like I'm in week two of my new job, mm -hmm. which is really exciting because I'm learning just so much about, about really high ticket sales. It's like this was totally what I wanted. So I'm really grateful for it. Yeah, and, and you uh, even get to work with cool people. And I get to work with cool people. And we were really talking about like personal power tonight because I work with a really empowered group of folks like who just kind of do whatever they want. They're so silly. They're just so silly and they have fun with their job. And you know, Katharina and I were talking about personal power. And um, we were laying in bed. We have this, day, this really nice day bed that we lay on. We are laying in this day bed and um, you know, she was kissing me and I was kind of giving her my cheek, giving her my neck, you know. And, uh, and she, she pulled away. She said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm playing power games. And she said, what do you think our relationship would look like if we didn't play power games with each other? And his mind. And my mind popped. Right. Because... A relationship without power games? A, what? What? That's just what we've been modeled our... Our, our whole lives. lives. You know, people playing coy, playing hard to get, playing playing games with each other. And even though we're married and our games are fun, it's, it's still, it's still a, game. a game. And what does it feel like when you just practice undefended love and mm -hmm. love that is not... Uh, that you have no barriers against, that you can just fully receive? And I think that it was a profound thing for him, for you to realize. It was. Because, you know, that kind of receiving hasn't been something that you've practiced much. Right. And, and when, you, when you're not a practiced receiver, how can you be a powerful person? Hmm. Because we, we talk about personal power on this blog, but well, what is power really? Except the, the power to receive whatever it is that you want. Not to, not to demand it, but to command it command it by allowing it. Yeah, the, the trick with power is that the really, really strong people are very soft. Right. And like, look at Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, powerful guy. Heart was soft. Right. And receptive. And receptive. So, you know, she and I talked about it for a minute and, and we, we considered that, this was after my mind was blown, by the way, because it was blown for like, 45 seconds to a minute and a half of just like what what wait we could live a life where we're like constantly working for each other and never in resistance to each other yeah not even in jest not even in jest and and then think about how that just ripples out and it ripples out and it ripples out in our life as we we come to believe that nothing is ever in resistance to us because whenever i want to do something she's there to do it with me and she supports me completely. So when you when you believe that your wife supports you completely, when you believe that your husband supports you completely, you then it becomes and easier this, to believe that the world will support you completely. And this isn't to say that you give in to every single demand, whim, or will. Like if you if you genuinely do not want to make love, it's like I would right. just be honestly sharing with you, like that's actually not something that I want to do right now. Mm -hmm. But it's not like a rebuffing or of like a like a oh like a keep yeah. away game, you know. Mm -hmm. I think women play those games with their men and it just makes the man feel re like he's been rebuffed. Yeah, and unloved. And unloved. And undesired. Yeah. Yeah. So, and so really what, we're, what I proposed to him was, you know, I, what would that look like to, to live a life where you don't pull away if I, I'm like giving you a kiss, like even if you're just being coy or like, what does that look like for you to just mm -hmm. fully receive my adoration? What does that look like for you to be able to go to that next level in yourself? Mm -hmm. Right. And, and I thought of it and I thought this is a lifeline. This is a lifelong practice. This is something that I'm going to consider for the rest of my life, which is why we're making a video about it <laughs> because now anytime that I can feel that my ego is starting to play power games with me, on the inside, I can just be like, whoa, you know, what, what am I, who am I playing a power game with? What, what situation, what feeling, what emotion am I currently playing a power game with? And I can just overstand it. I can stand over that power game in complete sovereignty 
and say, I'm going to choose a different way. I'm going to choose a way that there, there is no game. Because a game really is just like creating artificial rules. When you, when you play a game, the, the whole point of a game is that there are restrictions as to what you can do in order to achieve a certain goal. That's what a game is. If you play baseball, you cannot hit the ball with your glove. Even if you run around the little bases. <laughs> So when we play power games with each other, we're playing we're playing games with a very with the element of power. We're 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 creating rules around when power can and can't be utilized. We're saying, oh, it, it can happen in this circumstance, but not in this one. Or we're saying something has to happen in order for me to be happy in this instance. And when we do that, we kind of cut ourselves off from the natural flow of power, which is kind of flows through if you let it and just watching it shows up when it's needed and it shows up when it's needed right you know, but i think that truly powerful people don't go around living their life being like i'm so powerful <laughs> you know they're, they're actually quite soft mm -hmm. and, and right. limber and they're they're fluid yeah i think the real pow power is in your flexibility your fluidity mm -hmm. and just just like water when it needed when it's needed can become like a tidal wave mm -hmm. yeah but exactly. otherwise it's just flowing right so after we had this conversation katharina and i um, were just lying there and i said let's play a game and so i invented the um i don't know what, what do you want to call it it's like this this kissing well, it's game, the non -game. it's the non-game game <laughs> it's the non-game game and the non-game game is when you you know, just sort of lie next to your partner. And the way that we did it was with kisses. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we just lay next to each other. And then whenever one of us went in for a kiss, it was the other one's job to receive it. Fully. Fully. Not pull away, not resist, not play right. coy, not, not... Just like fully receive the kiss. Fully, fully imbibe it. Drink deep of the kiss. And it was fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> It really was. We were thinking about playing it on camera, and we're like, oh, no, no, that this, is this, way this too intimate. This get a little too risque too quickly. Right. For Facebook. For Facebook. <laughs> we might do it in our group. But, like, this is the demonstration. I'm like, oh, my gosh, your clothes are flying off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't actually happen in there. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. So, anyways... It's something you can practice with your partner too. Just like come up with some, some way of, of giving and receiving love. And really, I, we challenge you to, to receive it because in doing so, it becomes easier to receive love from other people in all the various forms that it comes in and all the abundance. Including money. Including money. I'm telling you right now, if I wasn't prepared to receive the awesome job that I have where I can literally like goof around and make butt tons of money, if I wasn't open to receiving that, I could never have received it. I had to like open up to the possibility that it was real. That something like that existed. And that took a lot of personal growth because I mean, I came from the Puritans where uh, it was a hard scrabble life for them. You know, like I'm from the East Coast with that Puritan work ethic inside of me of like work hard, then work harder, and then you just slowly scrape together just enough to get by. I mean, that that's literally the money mindset that I grew up in, mm -hmm. and everybody around me believed, and so I never really learned how to receive. Yeah, you you thought that was something that other people do. Right, that's something other people do, and then I wonder why life is so freaking hard. <laughs> Yeah, and really, you know, Katharina has taught me so much about receiving, but I, I recognized today that there's a huge connection between receiving and being a powerful human being. Really, really powerful human beings are very good receivers. Being powerful isn't about being a giver, it's about being a receiver. Yeah, because when you can receive, you overflow and then you have stuff to give. Right, then you have stuff to give. Yeah, because when you receive, the other person receives as well. So I think people think that they have to give, 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 out, out, yeah. and, and until you're empty. No, 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 it's like, 
in, 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 receive, and then receive. A right, and then it it just overflows. And this is something Katharina and I have really I've, practiced. Well, I have a great quote that I read once somewhere that said, Don't give from your teacup, give from your saucer. Right. So it give from the this. overflow. Give from the overflow. Fill you up first. And, and the way to fill you up is by filling other people up, because that fills you up automatically. Right. And so when we practice this give, receive, Right. circuit here like we're not entering resistance into any of it and so we're able to experience the fullness of he gave or i gave mm -hmm. and we both received and it was like <sighs> right and and there was no hiccups in the way right I you mean know so like what he used to do it would drive me freaking crazy because i would just be like like and then you would like be like mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Like you do this game and it was like, you know, I danced with you and you know, finally I, I was able to be like <laughs> <laughs> Now, now let's 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 imitate our very first Costa Rica chaos. We're sitting on a log. I'm just like mm -hmm. Yeah. More like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how that like went. That. So you didn't understand the finesse behind it of like <laughs> how this works right and so you know you you had to learn but I know that over time it turned into these power games and, mm -hmm. and it was something that you kind of like wanted to um, I don't know I don't think you even really knew that it was something you were doing right no of course not yeah so we are we're not we're not aware of what we aren't aware of right until somebody points it out mm -hmm. which is why we do mentoring yeah and this <laughs> is one of the reasons why it was important for me to share that with you because mm -hmm. I wanted you to understand that for me, I wasn't feeling received. Right, exactly. And when you're not feeling received, then neither one of us are winning because you're pouring out but not getting back. Yes. So. Yes, now you understand. Mm -hmm. Right. But it's important for me with all of that I do give to you because I feel like I give to you a lot. Mm -hmm. you know, it's important that I get received. Right. Like the gifts I give are met and received. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. The Bible has an interesting quote about this where it says, give and you shall receive. And for so many years I interpreted that as you, <laughs> you, you, you put something out, you hear, you know, here, you can have this thing, this power block, and you give that. And then later on you're like, oh boy, a power block came back to me. <laughs> no. And that's not how it works at all. No, when you, re when you give, you receive at the same exact time. Mm-hmm. It happens concurrently. Just try it out. Go donate something. You'll receive some great satisfaction instantly. But it's that that's how the growth happens because you, you grow because you give and you grow because you then receive something. It's sweet. Hmm. So that's really what Katharina and I were playing with today. And uh, and, and that's how we, we just kind of fell into that, that couples exercise that we were doing. So if you if you have a significant other, play with it. We encourage you, play with it. Just kind of like be with each other and, and practice, focus on accepting love, like truly accepting it, truly feeling it. Consciously. Consciously. And when you do that, it becomes easier to receive from other people who you're not having sex with. <laughs> It becomes easier to receive from your boss a raise. It becomes easier to receive from a new client. Well, it's because you have the tangible felt experience mm -hmm. of being worthy of that kind of love. Right. And I think that for most of us who have been through, you know, painful relationships in the past or people who have had just various strained relations throughout their life, I mean, the world, the, the world has a lot of dysfunctional relationship in it. And, mm -hmm. and I think that a lot of it has to do with people not getting their needs met and not really understanding how to love people and having all of these weird conditions and all of the ego games that people play and, you know, I'll do this and it's, it's very conditional love. And I'm not saying that I'm a master of unconditional love. It's just, I know that, um, when I go in that direction, when I practice unconditional giving and, and, and really like being in that way with you, I feel like I experience a lot more peace and love in my life mm -hmm. 
And so, yeah, that's why we practice these things. Right. So we gift you with that exercise today. And enjoy yeah. it. I mean, use it. it. Go try it. Try see, it. And tell see what kind of heart tingles and like... That you feel. That you feel because it's, it's big. It, it is. And, oh, by the way, when you do it, you'll, you'll definitely have better sex. Yeah, it's a huge intimacy it's builder. It's a huge intimacy builder. And, you know, then just, as we've said before, the money and the power, it just sort of shows up. But, the, but when the power and the money shows up, you have the ability to, to wield it in a way that's really beneficial for you, for your own personal life purpose, in the ways that you desire to, that are congruent with who you are as a human being. So yeah, that's what we got. All right. Well, if you'd like to join our exclusive group where we talk about this stuff and do live calls and mm -hmm. really answer your questions about your relationship, uh, you can send either Paul or I or our group or the page or the page here a message, and we will like interview you and see if you're going to be a good fit a good for fit our group. for us. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. We, we we take we talk about like really really touchy stuff in there and in your relationship and this is this needs to be a very safe place so we're we're, we're actually kind of picky out who we can let who we can let in and it's it's not that we're trying to be jerks or anything but it's like we really want to make sure people are serious so yeah send us a private message and we'll we'll talk to you we'll get on the phone and and see like if you can benefit from us all right all well, right thank you and i hope you enjoy that exercise yeah we love you thank you so sex. much go have good <laughs> sex bye guys